Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, and here and today we are checking out Vivi's new album. Wow, do you hear my dog in the living room? He's so cute. Um, sorry about that. But, um... We have the mini album, so the title track's fine. It's, it's not like a song I dislike. It's more just like, oh, okay, it's, it's a cool song. But I'm looking forward to these songs. They have very interesting names. First, we have Blue Clue. Blue's Clues. <laughs> I don't think it's a reference to that, but I will make the reference. Love or Die, Vanilla Sugar Killer. That better be a good song, because that title is too good to not be a, a good song. I'll, I'll mute when we're listening. Um, Overdrive and So Special. So let's just hop into the video. Forgot to press play. Rewind. <laughs> so sorry. I only listened to like this part. <laughs> I was saying it's um, I sense the like sneaky detectiveness of the song. Which is fun because I've been rewatching Squid Game again. And it makes me think of Detective Huang. <laughs> this is where I stopped. And I realized I didn't record. <laughs> I, I can see a black and white music video with this. And like them, like a noir film. I love that. And they all have the perfect voice for this style. There's no way this isn't a reference to Blue's Clues. I'm joking, but I'm also kind of not, like, I don't know, I don't know if it was popular in Korea, but they watch like Dora and stuff, so I'm like, hmm, maybe they watch Blitz Clues. Because what else would be, the, what, where else do you get the title Blue Clue? I get it's Red Eye Blue Clue, but I don't know. I feel like they got a Blue Clue before Red Eye. But my heart is blue Red eye but my heart Red eye but my heart is blue I love that, it goes dun 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 Look at a little switch up I kind of wish they, that little but my, and then it, it like trails off. I kind of wish they did something there to make that a bigger, to make, make it a little, it doesn't have to be a bigger ending because I kind of like the chill ending, but I, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I kind of wish there was just like a switch because you know like um there's either a big ending or a plot twist ending so I kind of wish they just maybe switch something around to make the ending different but like perfect song let's be honest perfect song oh 
The pictures are so pretty. Oh, look at Una. She looks so beautiful. I like Cindy with the... She looks like a freaking model there. They look like models. This is like editorial chic. Mmm. It's kind of reminds me of like a Shakira song. Like, I like the. Look at her. The jawline. Mm. It reminds me of a one, three, two, from twice a little bit. Oh, this is it. This is this is that song. Ten out of ten. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Shakira song for some reason. Like, like, but like more subtle because Shakira, her voice, very distinct. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Do I know the song? It's, it's has like um. Just that vibe to it, that like Caribbean vibe. She said, "Get out her way. You better get out the way." One, two, three. Oh, this is. So I am in awe. Like, many artists in K pop have tried doing this vibe, but all their voices work well here. Why did they say ever, never? And I wonder. Or is it just because, you know, it's flipped? This is this is the tweet tweet of this album, right? Tweet tweet. What was that song I like? It's tweet tweet, right? Tweet tweet, and love you like. Like this is that song. Like I love this song so much. You can do better than that. Do better than that. Me thinking blue clue is good. <laughs> Their voices suit this so much, I want a whole album of this vibe. That was just ridiculously good. Easily. Easily just perfect. Like, fight me. Mmm. <laughs> I do see that. I see that. That's so good. This is the one I'm looking forward to. But we had Love or Die and that's too good, so now I'm scared. I don't quite understand the title. They're killing the sweet stuff? I think it's just a weird title they picked. Because what does this mean? They're killing the fun? I don't know. I want to see them explain the title of the song.
Dude, what does this mean? I would think they would be calling someone else a vanilla sugar killer because the title makes it seem like you're killing the fun stuff like you're the the buzzkill stream buzzkill bop um but they're calling themselves it and it's kind of like a ladies night out song but maybe it's something i just don't know the reference to Killer. I'm not disappointed by the song. I just, it's okay. <laughs> the other songs were just better to me. I'm just mad because it's a cool title and it's unique and the song's not. <laughs> like, I feel like somehow switch this and Love or Die so that they can have. If I, if I was a casual listener and I saw this title, I'd click it first because it's so interesting and it grabs your attention. But I feel like the title is just made for the fun of the title. Like, it has nothing, it doesn't feel like it has anything to do with the song. I'm not saying it doesn't because maybe there's something I don't know. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it, you know, alone because I mean, just not know something. But it's, it, it, it it's a little disappointing <laughs> just because it's such a cool title and the song has nothing really unique to it which wouldn't be bad if it had a more normal title because i feel like they wasted that title that could have been a cool title for a title track to grab attention and also when you have a unique title if you type it in yours is the yours is the only one that's gonna pop up like there's I guarantee there's no other song called Vanilla Sugar Killer. Let me look it up. I'm gonna see. This is what we have. N only song that exists. And it's this is the one. <laughs> this is the one that's gonna have the name. Could have been a really good song to garner attention. But it, it was just kind of simple. And I liked it. But I don't know. I also just don't get the point of the title, so maybe if I got the point of it, I could enjoy it more. I like what they do with Una's eyebrows. Ooh, this is that 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 vibe. Let's go. <gasps> My girly Una was on Limujin service. Gotta check that out. I love this song already. Reminds me of their song um, Night Drive, which I think was this trio. It was Unha in a Simbi, I think. Night Drive. Your friend. Oh, who was it? It doesn't tell you the names. Oh, it was Una and Yuju. Oh, right, because I was excited because it was my bias and vice record. Or. Well, Yuju is not really my bias record, but she's probably my second favorite singer. Sinbi's voice really suits these songs they have. Mm. 
I don't know if Simbi's hair is controversial. I'm not sure if I wanted to say I really like this hair on her, but I'm afraid that might be bad. But I kind of like the hair on her. <laughs> I, 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 but if it's bad, let me know, and I'll retract the statement. But I, I kind of just like the look on her. It just looks like braids, so I, I don't think it's bad, but I, it could be something, I don't know. And her lip piercing, I wish it was real. Yeah, this is probably, this is better than Vanilla Sugar Killer, and it's better than Pull Up, so. This is that song, too. This is already the, their best album, because we only have one song left, so. I felt like um, their last album was okay. Yeah, this is a nice song. This is a nice song. Yeah, very much. Sounds like a... I thought, we, I thought they've got City Pop. Maybe G-Friend did, and I'm just thinking of G-Friend. I'm pretty sure I've heard them sing City Pop before. I feel like I've heard Luna's voice on City Pop. I don't know. Last song. I know blue is just a name, like a color, but I just, I'm like, ooh, reference to blue clue. I feel like um, I really like they seem to have a, like um, a sound concept with this, like, Everything kind of feels like, oh, this is all one album. I don't think it's like a conceptual album, but it has a, there's a style to it. The whole album, there's a style. But it doesn't sound like every song's the same. And I think that's, because there's albums like Blue Neighborhood by Choice of Vaughn where there's different sounds in the album, but it, you, I know if I hear a song from him, I was like, oh, that's the Blue Neighborhood album. Not just because I could name them, but like there's a certain sound to that album. That album's a project. It's a project album. This isn't a project album, but it has the vibe of a project album where it sounds, because his is a storyline, but like this sounds like they were made for each other. Like all these songs were made for this album rather than like an album where there's like oh let's just add this one to the album which is fine because sometimes you know as long as the songs are good it's good but i just like that they sound like they're from the same project but they're also not like they don't sound the same because no offense i love taylor swift's recent album but i had to like take breaks in between songs because they started sounding the same um same with like folklore stuff where and i like them but i, I think they're better off just me listening to it individually because they can start sounding thing which i think is the purpose but i personally would rather it just be a similar sound but not sounding the exact same but there are people who want the whole album to have a vibe so i get some of those albums are for those people because the the joy of k-pop is you can have an album where you like four of the songs and you just may not like the others because there's all different genres there but that could also be a disadvantage. Because <laughs> imagine waiting and then... But that's also the joy of K-pop. You don't usually have to wait as long. Unless you're Blackpink. <laughs> or Everglow now. <laughs> Everglow is now a Blackpink. Why you 
is so obsessed with me. It doesn't sound anything like that, but it just reminds me of that. We love it. The confident song. I wonder if they actually did the snaps. It sounds like, like real snaps too. I don't know why, but sometimes snaps can sound so fake somehow. What if this whole thing's just empty? Oh, it's not. I kind of would have loved that. That's a nice closure. I think the song got better as I heard it. This, this was definitely their best album. Um, I thought I heard ringing. Um, Lover Die is my favorite. Then Overdrive. Then Blue Clue. Then So Special. Then Vanilla Sugar Killer. Then Pull Up. I think that's like my ranking right now. Um, could definitely change over time. But like for now, that is definitely my ranking. Um, I really like this album. I think they found a good sound for them. And I kind of hope they stick with that. But you know, if they want to venture and do other sounds, that's cool too. But I kind of like this. I, I like their city pop vibes. I like the like... Um, the one that kind of sh sound like Shakira. I don't know what to call that. It, it sounds a little Caribbean, maybe, but I could be wrong. I'm very bad with sounds. Um, it could be Latin, could be Caribbean, could be there's like this Afro pop, I think it's called now. So, well, I don't think it's a new sound, but it's a new one I've heard of that the name. Um, so, it could be any of those things, but um, I liked it. That's the point. I liked it. Um, I hope they go down that route. And I will be doing Unha's Limujin service. It'll probably get blocked because for some reason all mine get blocked. Um, and if it does, they'll be on Patreon, where we do have other G-Friend stuff. And if it doesn't, then they'll be on here. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!